are the backbone of our country. We get to eat food every day only because of them. And that's the reason why it is our primary duty to help them in all the ways possible. Central and state governments have been initiating different schemes from time to time for the upliftment of agricultural fields as well as for the farmers who are related to that. We all know that farmers face different sorts of challenges every day including floods, including barren lands, the natural calamities, insect attacks, weather change, scarcity of money and what not. Hence, it is very much important for them to know and be aware about all the government schemes that are there for them that has been initiated for the welfare and the betterment of the farmers. So if you are a farmer or if you belong to a farming family, then make sure that you watch this video till the end and help us reach more and more farmers get benefited from these schemes. So today I'm going to talk about the top 10 government schemes that every farmer should be aware of. These schemes are very much important for your yield, for you as well as it will help you to do farming with ease. Hi, I'm Namita Pandey. Welcome to Freedom's Farming Channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, then do make sure that you subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics. Now, moving on, first let's understand why are the schemes necessary? Well, the government or the agricultural schemes in India launched the purpose of improving and helping the livelihood for the people who need and provide a better life. Every scheme launches to provide the privileges to the individuals in their life. So let's now discuss what are the top 10 government schemes that are meant for the farmers of our country. So the very first one is National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture. Now, in order to make agriculture more productive, more sustainable, remunerative and climatic resilient, the government of India has introduced National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture, which was done in the year 2014 and 15. Now, to achieve these goals, the mission promotes location-specific sustainable and best farming practices, soil conservation and moisture protection measures, soil nutrient measurement, efficient and sustainable water management practices with mainstreaming rain-fed methods, etc. So as the major component of the mission on-farm water management is being implemented with the objective of increasing water use efficiency by promoting the modern technologies such as the micro-irrigation and sustainable water management practices, etc. So this was all about the first scheme. Moving on to the next scheme, the next scheme is called as the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. So like we insure ourselves with multiple insurances like term insurance, life insurance, etc. Likewise, your crops too can be insured with Fasal Bima Yojana. We all know that the extreme weather conditions such as droughts, floods, hailstorm, etc. They cause a lot of crop loss and crop failure and financial loss to the farmers every year. And therefore, to save them from all these ill effects, the government, by merging all the previous crop insurance schemes, has launched a scheme called as Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana with the aim to support the production in agriculture by providing an affordable crop insurance system in place. Now, note that the central government has made Aadhaar card very much mandatory for availing the crop insurance. The scheme has been restructured with states given the option to determine the scale of finance at district level as per the average yield. So this basically means that here the insurance you get for the crops you avail for will be analysed and will be determined by the respective state governments. Now moving on to the next scheme, it is called as Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana. The government of India has structured Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana with the vision to extend the coverage of irrigation and improving water use efficiency in a focused manner. PMKSY focuses end-to-end -end solution on source creation, distribution, management, field application and extended activities. The centre has structured this scheme with emerging previous irrigation as well as the water management programmes such as the accelerated irrigation benefit program that we had earlier such as the integrated watershed management program etc so clubbing all together they have come up with this scheme moving on to the next scheme it is called as the paramparagat krishi vikas yojana paramparagat krishi vikas yojana is one of the important government schemes that you need to be aware of which encourages the farmers for traditional as well as the organic farming in the country 
we all know that post covid 19 pandemic the demand for the organic food products has increased exponentially so this is one of the schemes that will help you in doing organic farming so under this scheme the government of india provides the financial assistance to all the farmers of up to rupees 50000 per hectare every 3 years for multiple reasons for example for organic inputs that you get for certification for licensing labeling packaging transporting and marketing as well so the scheme focuses on reducing the ill effects of the overuse of fertilizers that we currently see in the country as well as the agrochemicals by promoting this scheme and by promoting organic manures by promoting the bio fertilizers and bio pesticides it helps in improving the soil fertility by improving organic carbon in the soil which results in enhancing the moisture holding capacity in the fields too So now moving on to the next scheme that you need to be aware of it is called as the micro irrigation fund scheme NABARD or National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development has created a micro irrigation fund with the corpus of rupees 5000 crore implemented from 2019-20 The objective of the fund is to facilitate the states in availing an interest subverted loan for expanding the coverage of micro irrigation facilities by taking up the special and innovative projects and also for incentivizing micro irrigation beyond the provisions available under the PMKSY scheme moving on to the next scheme it is called as ena for most of the farmers cultivating and growing crops is much more easier than selling their produce i have personally met so many farmers who have told me that selling their produce alone is one of the major challenge that they faced so to do away with this and in order to connect the existing agricultural mandis on the common online market platform for trading the agricultural commodities the government of india has come up with a scheme called as enam or e national agriculture market so far the enam has connected nearly 1000 mandis in about 18 states and the union territories implemented by small farmers agri business consortium enam aims at reducing the transaction cost bridging the information asymmetries and helping expansion of the market access for farmers and other stakeholders now since the implementation of this scheme enam has registered as much as a user base of about 1.66 crore farmers not only this about 1.31 lakh traders and about 73000 commission agents and about 1000 plus farm producer organizations have been connected so far now moving on to the next scheme it is called as kisan credit card in a bid to provide adequate and timely credit to the farmers for their agricultural expenditures the central government has come up with a scheme called as kisan credit card this was done in the year 1998 now under this scheme the government of india provides farm credits at a very subsidized rate of interest which is as low as 2% and on average you have to pay only 4% per annum since 2019 the center has extended the benefits of kisan credit cards to animal husbandry to dairy and fisheries farmers as well for their working capital requirements and let me tell you it has raised an existing limit of collateral free loan of up to rupees 1 lakh to about 1.6 lakhs the next scheme i'm going to talk about is soil health card now for any farmers doing any kind of farming for that matter assessing soil texture is one of the major factors that they need to look into so with an objective of conserving and maintaining the soil nutrients and soil fertility soil health card scheme issues soil health cards to all the farmers every 2 years to provide a basis to address the nutritional deficiencies in the fields if there is any under the scheme soil testing is conducted to analyze the nutrient needs then the crop wise fertilizers are recommended accordingly now this will help you to reduce the entire cultivation cost by applying the right fertilizers with right kind of quantity that is needed moving on to the next scheme it is called as pm kisan samman nidhi yojana launched in the year 2019 pm kisan samman nidhi yojana makes the transferring of rupees 6000 per annum directly to the farmers bank account through the dbt which is also called as the direct benefits transfer 
in three installments of rupees 2000 each the scheme supplements the financial needs of the small and marginal farmers in buying the farm inputs and also other agricultural expenses the scheme aims to protect the farmers from falling in the vicious traps of local money lenders and it ensures their continuation in the farming activities now moving on to the last scheme in my list it is called as livestock insurance scheme now this particular scheme aims to provide protection mechanism to all the farmers and cattle rearers against the eventual loss of their animals due to many reasons maybe it could be death and also it aims to demonstrate the benefit of the insurance of livestock to the people and popularize it with the ultimate goal of attaining quantitative improvement in livestock and their products as well so these were some of the top 10 government schemes that are solely meant for the farmers and to improve the farming activities in our countries. I hope this video was quite helpful for all the farmers and also those who are planning to attend or to enter the farming world. Also, if you're someone who's interesting to learn in detail what are the other farming practices and what are the other farming activities you can start with your small land, then you can hurry up and download Freedom App from Play Store or App Store wherein we have hundreds of farming ideas that will help you to fetch good amount of money. So now that you've come to the end of the video, do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video. Thank you for watching Freedom, Get Wise, Break Free.